Hey guys, yeah, what's up? It's Zar here. Today I'm doing a different commentary than I usually do. Today I'm going to be doing a commentary on the future of feeding, trick shotting, and basically the whole clan side of YouTube. And the next generation of games we have Call of Duty Ghosts. And I think this looks like a really sick game. I watched the multiplayer multiplayer reveal. If you haven't watched that yet, please go. It's like an hour long video. It's worth it. It taught you a bunch about the basics of the game and I thought it looks really good so far. And as I was watching it, I was thinking the whole time, what's going to happen to the trick shine community? I don't enjoy trick shine. I don't enjoy feeding. I do it because it's kind of fun. But lately, it hasn't been as fun as it used to because you get in the game with trick stars, you talk shit. That's it. People don't understand. Sometimes you just have to play a game to have fun. But it's Call of Duty where you can expect. It's full of 12 year olds. It's full of 18 year olds. Each are going to hate each other. So what I saw in the multiplayer thing was that the games look a lot faster paced and that search and destroy was different than it usually is. I don't know if you guys caught him saying what it was but I did. Basically what it is if you kill a guy in search he drops a tag if one of his teammates get that, gets that tag then he gets revived and basically gets put back in that round as a whole new life. So Surge Destroy will have multiple lives in it, but if your team captures that tag, he's gone. That got me thinking. If Surge and Destroy isn't only gonna be full as soon as you kill the guy and that's it, what is it gonna be like? You're gonna have to kill them multiple times and is everyone just gonna be going for mid games? Are there gonna be kill cams for that? What are we gonna do about that? And that got me thinking, I've been talking to a bunch of people on Xbox about it, and they too hate that idea. I personally love it because I'm more into the competitive side of gaming and YouTube. I've always had a little place in my heart for competitive, but I've never found the right team or the right people to play with because since I do trick shots so much and I'm not in that side of the community yet. But basically what I saw was... Call of Duty Ghost is going more toward the competitive side and all around enjoyable factor. Even like the team deathmatch, they're making it, if you don't get a kill in 30 seconds, you explode. I love that idea. I think it sounds really fun, fast paced games, that's, that's what I love. Other people in that case don't really enjoy it, but I do. I think that it would be more fun, less campers, I wish every game was like that, but that would be kind of stupid if you think about it. I love the idea they did for that. And once again, I love the idea they for search. But what's going to happen? Feeders, how are they going to get kills? You're going to get the kill, and then an enemy's going to get dog tag. Is it going to be like that for every game? I didn't. I don't really know, because the guy didn't a lot. Uh, or sorry, the guy didn't really talk about much of it. Well, since it's only the first release, of course he isn't. But we're going to have to keep our minds open, and we're going to get ready for a bunch of new stuff to be released, because. Once again, if you think about it, basically if you go and search, the whole entire enemy team is going to be running around together because that's what I would do too. You got to play objectively, you got to get your teammates tags if they drop any tags just in case, and you could win games like that. Is it going to be full of people tryharding in teams of six? trying to not even let you trick shot like I know Black Ops 2 has people that set up and I do get in games with a lot of people that set up and we don't enjoy that much but will Call of Duty come to all non setup shots or people actually want to set up in that game because after you kill the last guy is it just going to be because that's what I was thinking you kill the last guy and then that's it but there could be something more that we're missing in this picture right now and it just has me thinking I was trying to do reviews on this stuff. One thing I did really like about Call of Duty Ghost, their perk system, they're doing it like Black o or Mono for 3, sorry, because Infantry Ward's making it. So I know that they're doing it like the Black Ops style that you could pick up to, I think it said, I don't know, I'm sorry about this, but yeah, I, whatever, Skip, sorry about that. I know you can pick a certain amount of things. If you want to pick 5 perks, two weapons, two attachments for that, and then that's what you choose. Or you could get rid of one secondary and get extra perks. I enjoy that because it gives more expansion. I love how you could customize your character. That sounds really fun. Everyone won't be the same anymore. And I figured out that, hey, that sounds kind of cool. But once again, trickshotters aren't liking it. But please tell me what you want 
or like what you like about Call of Duty Ghosts because I really want to know. I want to know what real trick shotter says. I don't really count myself as a trick shotter, but yet I do it. I really want to know what trick shotter's perspectives on it are and feeding perspectives on it because as we are hearing right now, it sounds like a good game. It sounds like a fast paced game, but is it meant for trick shotters and is it meant for feeders? We don't know yet. When more will be released, we will know. That's all I gotta say, guys. I just want to give my opinion. I don't think that Call of Duty Ghosts will be for trick shotters, and I think the community will die down because. Uh, jeez, wow. My mind is. I'm just trying to think of so much stuff right now. Sorry about this. But right now, the community, as you guys saw on Monster 3, it was horrible. That's when the feeding community launched up because trick shotting was horrible. Black Ops 2, it kind of laid even. People feed people trick shotted. But what is it going to be like Ghost? Is it only going to be mainly trick shots? Is it going to be mainly feeders? Or are the editors and graphic peoples finally going to step up to that spot and be the most known people? Because I feel like we are underrated right now. We don't get respect. We don't get like pride. We have pride, but people don't show it us. Like we do a background for someone, we'll do an edit for someone, and people are like thanks, great background. But we're not going to be able to get in. 60k clans just like that we're not going to get noticed as fast as you guys do and we don't really have a community like we can't get a six mans for doing graphics we can't just go on photoshop and do live streams of six, uh, six people editing one photo that's why people don't really like us much but i'm up for anything that's all i gotta say guys just want to make this quick little video if you guys want i'll talk more i'll probably do some update videos later as soon as i see more content from releasing if they're going to release anything about trick shotting anything about the snipers we'll see as of right now sniping looks very fair that's all i gotta say guys please like and comment on this video once again making my comeback see you guys